Hello, right, hi, so I'm Biohacking Joe Baines, and I've just come back from, well, in December, I came back from my day with Destiny, my second one. And this day with Destiny, I spent six months preparing for. And when I got to day with Destiny, I hit the ground running. I was having um, insights, I was having breakthroughs every hour, every two hours, I was having a breakthrough. It was just, it was the best one. I also sorted my diet out, which I messed up on the first day with Destiny. So I had, I planned, I bought all my food for the whole six days, and I planned my food out right down to the uh, coffee, you know. So, so my diet on date with Destiny was perfect. In fact, it was so perfect, I could have done another six days of date with Destiny, 20 hours a day, and I would have been fine. Uh, so what I was eating on date with Destiny uh, was I was having bulletproof coffee in the morning before I left to go do it and that bulletproof coffee contained two raw eggs. It contained, I think it was like 200 grams of fat. So that would be 100 grams of fat is like, uh, so that would be like 2000 calories. Yeah. So I, I had a lot of fat in there. Oh, and the other thing I was putting in there, organ meats. So I had the organ meat powder, which I bought when I was there. And I was putting a couple of tablespoons of that in there. So I was getting like beef organ meat powder in there, like very high quality um, and butter and everything. Yeah, so I had like the complete works. So I was getting this 2000 calorie hit meal in a drink. And, and, and then, then I was also taking a bulletproof coffee with me as well, to drink there. So when I was at date with Destiny, the only time I left the room was to go to the toilet. That's it. I didn't go out for coffee. I didn't go out to get any food. When I hit that room, when I was in that room, everything I needed was in that room. So I paid full attention. I did not miss anything. And I was getting breakthrough after breakthrough. Uh, and so when I came back from Date With Destiny, I decided that I was gonna create my one hour priming, where well, it's actually 45 minutes. Um, 45 minute priming. And I've been playing around with creating this priming routine ever since I got back from Date With Destiny. And when I first started doing it, it was, I'd have the windows closed, I'd have the music low. Oh, uh, I am the voice. I was like this, very timid, right? But now when I do it, it's like, I am the voice. I am a leader. Yeah, so freedom, right? So I'm doing all this and I'm pretty loud as well. And I have it. And what I've noticed is my priming. I have it louder and louder and louder. Uh, and so my priming, the first 15 minutes, I'm also a massive fan of Win Off. So my first 15 minutes of my priming is the Win Off breathing technique. So I do heavy breathing for 15 minutes. And then I do Tony Robbins' I am the voice. I do it twice. So that's 10 minutes, which charges me up. Oh, by the way, when Tony Robbins is doing the priming, uh, the I am the voice, I am going full out. I'm jumping up and down. I'm punching the air. I am basically going crazy. And 10 minutes of that, I am knackered by the end of it, like both totally. And then I do 10 minutes of the, uh, you know, the incantations we learned at Date With Destiny. Okay, yeah. So I have, I had, I created three incantations at Date With Destiny, uh, which I do with a lot of energy. And the first one is I command, demand the warrior inside of me to step forth and heal my body, mind and spirit. So I do that nine times. And then I have my life purpose one. And my life purpose, the purpose of my life is to be a strong warrior, illuminate reality for myself and others, and to live with love, passion. So I do that one nine times. And then the last one is, is the question, how can I experience even more love, passion in my life right now and share with others? So I do that one nine times. So that takes 10 minutes as well. And at the right at the end, I do the Tony Robbins, you know, the, uh, the the pumping the arms, which is 15 minutes as well, and is being grateful for what you already have, um, being uh, setting you setting your intentions for your life, thanking the universe for, for the gifts that you have, and also setting three or four goals right at the end of what you want to achieve in the next week, next month or so. So I do that every morning as well, um, and I noticed my intensity was increasing, but I also noticed every day something would change in my brain something would go up by 1%. And then for a couple of weeks, I was doing it twice a day. And I was noticing an even bigger difference. 
So when I get home tonight, I'm going to do it again. So I did it this morning. So what I do now is I get up at six o'clock and I've been doing that for over a week. And uh, I have a, like a drink, a lemon water, whatever it is. I, you know, go to the toilet, all that kind of stuff, brush my teeth, that kind of stuff for the first half an hour to get, you know, to get my heart rate going and all that kind of stuff. And then at about 6.30, 7 o'clock, I start my priming. I do 45 minutes of that. And then I end it with Sadhguru's, I am not my body, I'm not even my voice. That again is 15 minutes, so I do that one as well. And that takes me to an hour. And then at the end of it, I have a cold shower. And so I do, I do two, three, four, five minute cold shower. And then I'm done. And then I can start doing whatever I need to do. So that is my priming. So I would recommend to you to, start to create your priming routine. You start creating it. You start playing it. And what you'll, you'll notice, because my priming routine took me about a month to solidify. Because I was like, I try it and I find, oh yeah, you know, I could tune this, I can do that. And so I kept changing it. So now I, it's gone through about 20 different iterations. And so now I think it's almost perfect. I mean, it'll change, keep changing, but it's pretty good at the moment. So I, I urge you to create your own priming routine. It won't be perfect the first week, the first month or whatever, but you, you do them every day. And as you do them each time, you'll notice some shortcomings that you want to change and you can then upgrade them. And then once you've done about 20 or 30 iterations, you'll get a, you'll have a really good routine and they'll give you so much energy. I mean, I'm jumping up and down. That when he's going step up, I'm basically bending down and jumping right high. So I do that all the time because you know, you gotta get your blood flow moving. So that's my Tony Robbins priming. Get down, get do it. Just, just start it up. Doesn't matter how timid you feel. Doesn't matter how awkward you feel. What you'll notice, the more you do it, the less awkward you'll feel, the more empowered you'll feel and the more energy you'll have. Uh, so yeah, so that, that's my priming. Thank you very much. Remember, Biohacking Joe Baines. I'm writing a book on biohacking, Supercharged You, and I'm also creating a Udemy course um, on biohacking, Supercharged You, on how to completely hack your body. And this is, you know, this is, we're not talking about supplements here. We're not talking about nutrition here. Is we, we're talking about creating the space to allow your body to work at its most optimum. So I'll do some more videos on that. Thank you very much. Enjoy.